What's up YouTube? This is Cory with Cory's Card Craze and I have another Magic the Gathering Fat Pack opening for you today. I have an old one. I have Scars of Mirrodin. Not super old, but old enough to be considered old. Now what I am most excited about this is this is the very first Fat Pack I ever bought back when I was like 16 or 17. I forget now, but I was pretty young and uh, when I saw this online I, I, I just had to have it. Now what's different about these than the ones nowadays is there's only eight booster packs and um, which is okay because there's a lot of good value in these on the back as with most of them I knew I was gonna knock over that Eternal Masters box that's okay we have the Scars of Mirrodin artworks the, the pack arts rather we have what comes inside that being the playbook the die the lands and the booster packs that's it that, that that's that's all that's in these. Actually, let me drop this back there. There we go. That's nice. Okay, let me get this open here. Be very careful. I am starting a collection of as many fat packs as I can get my hands on. I don't really want to have duplicates, so I'm just trying to uh, grab up especially the old ones I mean new fat packs you can get for like thirty dollars there it's not that difficult to find oh my god let me get my knife in there again there we go. the uh, new fat packs you can grab easily but the old fat packs you have to grab them when you can I think this fat pack brand new online is Ninety dollars maybe, and I was able to get it in an auction for only I don't know something stupid like forty-two dollars. The guy was not labeling his auction properly, and I was lucky enough to find it. So anyway, get that out of there. Here is the playbook, and as with all these playbooks, has the cards and so on and so forth. What I'm hoping for the most out of this is going to be. Mox Opal. That would be a fantastic pull. Here's what's on the inside. What is this thing? Oh, you get a little little book in this. Did not know that. By Matthew Stover. Very interesting. Well, we'll, we'll just put you in the back there. And in here, just like with the others, you have packs with land, pack with the die, more useless cardboard, Get this out of here. There's your set symbol there. Nice blue and red die. I think I have mine still from way back when I bought these. Well, there's four of the eight. And the other four. And this is just your land and your little playbook there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For those of you who've never seen Scars of Mirrodin packs before, there's three, and there's your artwork. I believe it's only the four. Am I wrong? No. Just the four artworks. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So like I said, I'm looking for Mox Opal, Scytherix would be nice, a big black dragon, any Planeswalker, but I'm just excited to see these cards again as I haven't opened any of these packs in quite some time. Let's just take a quick look at these. I think Sword of Body and Mind is in this too, or Fire and Ice, something like that. Alright, well here's our uncommons. We have Thrumming Bird, Gollum's Heart, Dark Steel Sentinel, Venser's Journal is my first rare of this fat pack, and a soldier. And let's see, we'll just go through these. A couple of rare lands I would love to pull. We have Skin Render, P 
Payne Smith, Rusted Relic. Memora side is my rare and a mirror token. If I remember correctly, my buddy had a, a mirror deck back when the set came out. I tried doing an infected deck. But I was young and didn't have much money, so I uh, it's a very low budget infect deck. Necropede, Vigil for the Lost, Dark Steel Mur, Azuri's Brigade. Oh, and a Golem token. Fourth pack here. And then only four more to go. Hopefully we pull at least one Mythic out of this. And I have been contemplating. Let me know what you think about getting a booster box of this. A couple hundred bucks, but I would love to crack open an entire box of this. Razor Hippogriff. Mirror Galvanizer. Ember Smith. Oh, there we go. Razor Verge Thicket. Very good rare to pull. And rules tip for Infect. That's funny. Did not know those were in there. Whoops. Let me put that back there so I don't knock that over. Flesh Allergy, Trinket Mage, Rusted Relic, Tower of Calamities is my rare. Island, Soldier, ooh, we have a foil. Foil rare, that's nice. Painful Quandary. That's a nice pull right there. Don't know if that rare is any good or not, but any foil rare is nice to pull, especially out of a fat pack. No guarantee on that in a fat pack. Acid Web Spider, Barbed Battle Gear, Grafted Exoskeleton, Dark Steel Juggernaut. I remember this card. This was a great card back when I had a uh, artifact deck. Mountain and an insect token. Two packs to go. Two packs and no mythic yet. Usually you get at least one mythic per fat pack, but there is no guarantee. Could just be saving the best pack for last. We have Golem's Heart, Rust Tick, Barrage Ogre, Koldatha Phoenix, Plains, Rules, Tip for Proliferate, and we have a Foil Moriak Replica. Two foils, that's not bad. Especially when you're only getting eight packs. Liquid Metal Coating, Bloodshot Trainee, Barrage Ogre, Argentum Armor, and a Mirror Token. So no Mythics out of that, which is unfortunate, but we did get two foils, one being a rare, and we pulled a Razor Verge Thicket. Don't really know how much any of these are worth. I wasn't opening this to make any kind of money, just to bring back the memories, which of course it did. I love opening these fat packs. I don't know why, but really want to open at least one of every set that's ever come out. Check out the links below. I have a link to my TCG Player account, my eBay account, and my Patreon account. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below which fat pack would you like me to open next, or bundle, or whatever you want to call it. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, tune in.